Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com tutorial. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about comments to your blog posts inside of WordPress. And what we're going to be focusing on actually is identifying what is a spam comment. Of course there's many different types of spam out there and it's a little tricky sometimes to tell if someone has left a well-meaning or well-intentioned comment about something that you've written or if in fact they're trying to spam you. So here we are inside of the dashboard of our WordPress site. And the easiest way to assess these, of course, is to click on comments inside of your left-hand navigation for the dashboard. And here we are presented with a bunch of comments. Now they are all highlighted as yellow because they have not been approved. What that basically means is that when someone leaves a comment on your blog, it's held in moderation, or you moderate it, to decide whether it's published to the site or not. So currently none of these are visible to anyone who would visit our blog. And that's a pretty good thing actually, because every single one of these is a piece of spam. And there's a couple of ways that we can go about sort of figuring out whether a comment is spam or not. And let's take a look at a couple of the clues here as we kind of go down and look at all of these. Generally one of the first big clues that you have is the website that someone has left when they've actually put a comment into your blog post. Now a lot of times people will spam your comments for this very reason. What they're trying to do is they're trying to create backlinks to their site and so they will do this as a way of basically putting content on your site that might look well-meaning and it might actually be uh, cleverly written so that you're not sure if it's spam or not but you can almost always tell by taking a look here at the URL that's being shown and in this case limewirefreedownload.blog.friendster.com really doesn't sound like it's actually a very legitimate comment although you can see that they've just said cool which is just a real quick word so at first you might think they're commenting on your actual blog and saying cool I really like what you've written but in fact you see that if you look a little closer that the URL is pretty questionable uh, also it should be mentioned that generally if someone's leaving a one-word comment on your blog post anyway it's not really helping you out and a lot of times spammers will just do this just because it's generic enough that some people might think that it's actually related to what they've written when in fact it's not so all we have to do is just click on spam and send it to our spam folder and it's gone and actually this particular one right here you'll notice that LimeWire free download blogs.experienceproject.com sounds very similar to the questionable URL that we had earlier. Probably the second clue that's worth taking a look at is the email address that's entered as well. Now for this particular site you cannot actually leave a comment unless you leave an email address first. So someone who is snoopdog24 at gmail.com maybe doesn't sound like the email address of your target audience. If that's the case, then that's a good possibility that it's spam. That plus the fact that it's such a short comment that it doesn't really have any bearing on what you've written uh, generally indicates that this is spam. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one. And let's take a look at our next candidate. Now for this one here, it's a little tough to say just by looking at the URL if it's actually a spam URL or not. And the same is true of the email as well. Both of these look like they're actually pretty legitimate. So if that's the case, then generally the next thing that I look for is actually to read the comment itself. And sometimes you can do so very quickly and immediately find problems. And the first problem that I look for is spelling errors or grammatical errors. And generally when you look at spam comments, you see the kind of errors that people actually don't make very often when they're typing on their keyboards, like inserting a question mark in the case of an apostrophe, for example. And the same is done here for this word, I'm. That seems a little unusual, and it seems like machine-written text, which means that this is almost always a spam comment. So in this case, we're going to mark this one as spam and move on. Now for this one, the... URL and the email address both seem pretty legitimate 
but immediately we have a problem with what's in here, you can see that each one of these comments, if we roll over it, is in fact a hyperlink. And it's obvious that what someone's trying to do here is they're trying to create backlinks by spamming your blog. This one's a no-brainer. If someone's leaving a bunch of links in your comment and they don't have any relation at all to what you've written about, that's spam in my book. So let's just go ahead and mark that one and get rid of it immediately. Here we have another one that if we look at it, the URL and the email address both look pretty good. And if we do a quick scan of the actual text itself, there doesn't seem to be any particular errors. So this is one where we actually might have to take a little bit of time to read it and see what it says. And in this case, it's a very generic piece of text that says, I ordinarily do not publish in blogs, but your weblog pressured me to. Astounding function, wonderful. It just sounds a little awkward, and it probably doesn't really sound like something that someone would actually write if they had written your, if they had read your article. If they'd read your article, they probably would have made at least some specific comment about something you had said. Now, this is very generic, and it sounds very awkward. So that sounds like spam. Here's another one that is uh, pretty interesting. And you'll notice, of course, that when you go through a lot of spam comments, such as we're doing, the amount of variations that you get is amazing. But they all seem to make the same kind of mistakes, and so you can usually figure it out pretty quickly. In this case, the URL and the email address, both, they look legitimate enough. It's certainly nothing we've heard of before, but it's really difficult to tell. Um, but there is a little bit of a hint here, the, the fact that this email address comes from someplace in France because it's .fr instead of .com is a pretty good clue, especially if you tend to get a lot of comments from people who are local to your area as opposed to international comments. That's your first clue that this is probably spam. However, with this particular one, we actually have to read the, art, read the comment a little bit more closely to see what's going on. And in this particular one, without reading the entire thing, someone has basically just said that they have a lot of questions and would like to email you, but they can't seem to find how to email you. This is another common uh, spam tactic, where instead of commenting on the actual article that you've written, they instead ask for some kind of help or assistance, uh, or in some way just look like they're asking a question. This gets a lot of people who think it's legitimate because they do generally want to be pretty helpful towards their readership. But in this case, this is obviously very generic. It doesn't really seem to have any place here at all. And in fact, we know that this site has a contact form. So if they can't find it, that seems to be a real big problem. So all those things together, this really sounds like spam. Moving on to our next entry. Um, I'm already suspicious with this one just because the URL looks like uh, just a bunch of random letters. So it's probably not a legitimate business, but in fact is just uh, a URL that someone hammered out very quickly. And that's actually borne out by looking at the text of the comment itself. We see these huge blocks of nothing but just gibberish text, which most likely is meant to throw off the spam filter in some way, and that's why this one has gotten through. However, we're not so easily fooled, so let's mark it as spam and it's gone. And finally, here's our last one. And this one is probably the one that's the hardest to figure out. There's no obvious clues about it. The URL is a little unusual, cheese.com, but it certainly sounds legitimate. The email address is ymail.com instead of gmail.com. A little odd, but also that's probably legitimate. And the actual comment itself. I have been absent for a while, but now I remember why I used to love this blog. Thank you. I'll try and check back more often. That sounds like it doesn't have anything to do with what we've written about at all. And that's another big clue. We certainly discussed it already. But anytime someone writes a comment and it seems to relate to nothing in particular, even if it uses perfect English or sounds misleading, chances are it's spam. In this case, we're not going to wait around and find out. We're just going to go ahead and mark it as spam and be done with it. And now you can see that we've cleared out all of our spam comments. And all that remains down below is nice comments made by actual readers. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.